Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's the 3rd of August, Tuesday. Geithner came out over the weekend speaking of a 2.4% growth in GDP, speaking to the fact that uh, you know the, the recovery is in force, but it's not as good as he'd like it to be. Um, and speaking to the fact, once again, you know, the more things change, the more they say the same. Once again, we're hearing, hey, it's a good thing if the unemployment number goes up. That means people who are dislocated out of this economy, they're discouraged, they're fed up because they can't find a job. Their unemployment benefits have run out. Uh, they're coming back into the workforce because the prospects of looking for a job are so good now. So, <clears throat> so it's going to be a good thing to see an increase in the unemployment number. And, and my answer to that is, is very, very simple. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that the people in D.C., the people who go before these cameras and tell you that things are getting better, that we care about the middle class, that we care about small business, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that they are bold-faced liars. They have no desire whatsoever to work for the working man or to work for small business. They have every desire to do exactly what they have done. So let, don't let me be uh, your teacher on this. Let history be your teacher on it. Look who is successful right now in this country. Look who is uh, receiving profits galore and record bonuses. Is it small business? Absolutely not. It's Wall Street. It's the firms that brought us to the position we're in right now. It's the firms that led us into the next Great Depression. They're healthy and happy and whole. They're the ones who are showing profit, trading stocks back and forth with each other, getting free money from the uh, Federal Reserve so they can turn around and park it and make guaranteed money from the Federal Reserve. Oh yeah, by the way, you're going to get a pay for that as well, as well as guaranteeing all their failure from the past. But we need too big to fail, right? We need Wall Street to be successful for Main Street. Well, where is Main Street's success? Is it in small business? 80% of you out here listening to me right now, myself included, is going to get up tomorrow and go to work for a small business if you have a job still. That is the economic growth engine in this country, small business. How do they feel about the conditions in this country right now? Well, Mish puts out, uh, Mish is commenting on uh, the small business index report that just came out, and I'll attach to this video. And small business, these are the most optimistic people in the nation. These are the people that made America great, entrepreneurs, that took a risk with their own money, went out and tried to make a, su a success story for themselves. And in, the, and in the process of doing so, adding people to the workforce. How do they feel? It's never been lower, negative 28 on the small business index. This index has never shown uh, small business owners looking six months into the future and having a negative outlook until now. Now it's at negative two outlook for six months down the road. 17% of them is all that plan on spending any more money in their small business. Only 17% are confident enough to reinvest their money into their own business. That's how desperate they feel in this economy. And even less of them plan on hiring more people, 13%. So as these politicians, as these slicksters, as these ultra-educated Ivy elites come on and tell you, we're all for small business, we're all for middle class, please wake up and realize the truth. They are for who they've helped already. Mega big, too big to fails, ultra-elite banksters. That's all I got.